Hello, my YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm just going to do a chit chat with you guys and share my 2020 handbag wish list. If you watched my 2020 entire handbag video, you know that this year I really want to focus on the quality instead of quantity. I want to consolidate my handbags and only keep the ones that will bring me joy whenever I reach for them. And as you can see in the picture, you know which bag is on top of my wish list. It is the Amaz Mini Constance. To be honest, I never really fell in love with Hermes before. I know that you have to have a purchase history in order to be qualified for certain handbags. And to be honest, I really hate that. I thought you should be able to buy any bag if you are willing to, right? You're the customer. So that's why I never had a great impression of the brand. And I'm always a Chanel girl, and I love the different collections that Chanel introduced every season. However, if you watch my, you know, the Chanel review video for uh, the spring summer collection 2020, you know how disappointed I was. You know, when I saw Chanel's new collection, their new design, and I figured maybe it's time for me to, you know, to change or to maybe look into some other brands. But at the same time, I'm also becoming more and more picky. And if I were to add any new bag to my collection, it needs to be a bag that I would absolutely love. Plus, I'm also looking for handbags that are super classic, which means that they can hold their value very well over time. And which bag does a better job than Hermes? And as I saw more and more pictures of the Hermes Constance online, I told myself that this is the bag that I need to add to my collection. I know most people are more interested in the Birkin or the Kelly, and even my friends, they ask me, why are you interested in Constance? And it's pretty much the same price as the Birkin and Kelly. But I don't know, maybe eventually I'll also look into the Kelly and Birkin, but for now, I'm still a crossbody bag girl. I love how easy it is to wear a Constance on your shoulder and how casual it looks with jeans and t-shirts. I just love the vibe that Constance gave me. Super young, classic, yet effortless. Some people asked about my preferences in terms of the leather and size. I mean, well, in terms of the leather, it's really not your choice. <laughs> it really depends on like which leather or which handbag that you run into, right, in the store. But I would say if I were to choose, I would definitely go for the Epson leather, which I believe is the most durable. I heard that people are complaining about the Swift and um, the box leather and how easy they are to get scratches. And if I'm paying this much for a handbag, I'd rather you know have it in a pristine condition instead of like having a lot of scratches. Unfortunately, I heard that you can't really avoid any scratches on the metal part, the H logo as you can see in the picture, but I think that's okay for me. And in terms of the size, I'll definitely go for the smaller size. I think it's the mini or like the 18 centimeter size because the 22 centimeter I think is just too big for me. And not to mention the H logo on the 22 centimeter is just gigantic. Um, I'd rather have a smaller logo on the handbag instead of a big one. And when it comes to the color, which is the most important thing, again, it's not my choice, right? It really depends on which bag they have or which color they have available in store. I know most people prefer the neutral color over the brighter ones, especially the black, gold, and uh, the etope, or like the gray color are the most popular. And rumor goes, in order to be qualified for those colors, you have to have a lot of shopping history or purchase history in the store with the same essay. But to be honest, I don't really think that makes sense. Granted, there's a science of supply and demand, but for me, I don't really care whether it's in the neutral color or a seasonal color. 
I even think running into a seasonal color is more fun, and it's a pretty nice surprise because you never know like which color of Constance you're going to run into, and、uh, that just adds in a little more excitement when you're hunting for the bag. So, what do you think about my 2020 handbag wish list? I know it's super, super short because it literally only has one bag on the list. But I also know that this bag is super hard to get, and I really don't want to, you know, purchase other unnecessary stuff from a mess just to be qualified for the bag. So I don't know. I'm just going to try my luck. I've heard people who, you know. Bought this bag from maybe a, a mess in the airport with no purchase history, but I know like it's very very rare. So wish me luck, you guys. And that's it for today's video. If I ever get my hands on the bag, I'll definitely let you guys know ASAP. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.